So in this video, I'm going to show you how to play three Brad Paisley guitar licks to add some twang to your own playing. Hey guys, what's up? It's Colt Wheeler here, bringing you the best guitar tips and tricks so that you can level up your country music playing faster. On this channel, I cover everything from guitar tone tips, gear review, and guitar tips for playing country music, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Happy Fry! Happy Fry! End day! N where N equals the abbreviation for whatever day of the week it is that you're watching this on plus day. Anyways, I uh, hope all y'all are doing well and I hope you're in the mood to learn some country guitar licks today. So today we're gonna look at three easy Brad Paisley licks that everyone needs to know and everybody needs to steal them and everybody needs to add them to their own playing. We've talked a lot about Brad Paisley this month. Now it's time to finalize that culmination of August 2020 and do a few ideas to start incorporating Brad's own playing into your own playing style. So before we get to the licks, I do want to say that all of them are movable so they can be played in any key as long as you make the appropriate adjustments. I should also mention that these all use a chicken picking technique as that's what Brad Paisley is known for. So if you're not familiar with this technique, check out this video here and then come back and learn the licks. Lick number one is a pull off to an open string riff. It's pretty nifty and it sounds instantly country. It's a really good easy lick to play when you're trying to play something fast and show off a bit, or if you're trying to improvise and need a little something to bounce around on until you're coming up with your next idea. All right, so this one's pretty simple. What I'm basically doing is I'm plucking the B string with my middle finger, I'm not giving you the finger, I'm just showing you, I'm plucking the B string with my middle finger and picking the G open G string. So I'm basically walking down the scale, the G major scale. Uh, it really depends on what uh, key you're in or what scale you're using. But I'm using the G major scale and I'm walking my way down from E, pluck the D, pluck the C, back to the D, back to the C, and then I'm taking this A and bending it and pulling it off to the open G, all while I'm droning on with that G note um, with the pick. So pluck the E, pick the G. Same with the D, pluck the D, pick the E. Pluck the C, pick the G. Pick, pluck the D, pick the G. Pluck the C, pick the G. Pick, bend, and release the A, pull off to a G. Pretty simple. You want the pull off note to be the chord that is being played underneath, or at least a note that's in the key of the song that you're playing. As you have to have a drone note as the bass note in the lick, this will work over an A, D, G, B, or an E chord. If you're playing something different over a different chord or in another key, just slap one on a capo in either frets one or two, and you'll have any note you need to play this lick. So lick number two is all about the minor pentatonic box and playing down the scale while doubling back in some parts. You can clearly hear Brad playing it during the song Cluster Pluck. It's super easy, and if you've ever learned the beginning part of Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven, this will be super familiar for you. Check it out. So basically we're playing an A minor pentatonic scale here, adding a few flourishments and ending with a bent note right before the end note. Uh, the last bent note should be three semitones or three frets above the final note. So let's break it down real quick. First, we're bending um, on the seventh fret of the G string very quickly. And then we're going to the fifth fret on the B and the E string. Pull off from the eighth fret to the fifth fret. Grab the initial seventh fret on the G string and then back to the fifth fret on the B string. I found that hybrid picking, uh, chicken picking really helps here. So pluck, um, so bend with the first note. Pick with this, uh, the B note or the B string. Pick with the E string. Pull off on the B string with a pick. Grab the seventh fret of the G string. Pick it and then pluck the E note on the B string. 
And then here we're just gonna walk down the rest of the pentatonic scale, just picking. From here, go to that, uh, go down two frets, that third from the last note you wanna uh, land on, bend. So we're just gonna walk down the pentatonic scale. Go down two frets once you get here. Bend that note, and then bend, release to a pull-off. And what's cool is you can add this into any other key, uh, except for you can't pull it off to a bent note, but you can slide it down to whatever your end note wants to be. So, so if you want to do it in C, I'll do it real slow. E. So lick number three is a classic pedal steel lick. This lick tries to emulate the sweet, sweet sounds of the pedal steel, the most country guitar instrument out there. Here are two examples of what I mean. All right, so these pedal steel licks are pretty easy. The first one, we're gonna take the B string, uh, 12th fret, B note, bend it up a full step. And while we're holding it up there, we're gonna take our pinky finger and pluck this uh, e, e note on the 12th fret of the E string like this. And with the B note still being bent, go back to pick it and release it. Sounds like this. All right, for the second one, same concept, except for the G and B strings. Uh, we're gonna take the uh, 11th fret uh, on the G string, bend it up a full note. Grab the B on the B string. And release, just like the other one. Pretty simple, right? You can get even crazier by adding more pluck strings before releasing the bent note like this. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing as before. Bend the B note, pluck the E, go back and pick the B note. Don't release yet. Now you're gonna take your pointer and grab this D note and pluck it. Now go back to the B and release. So. All this whole time you're holding the B until the very end. So bend the B, pluck the E, pick the B, pluck the D, pick the B and release. Now for this next lick, we're gonna do the same thing as before. Take the F sharp, bend it up to a G sharp, pluck the B, but this is where things get a little bit differently. We're gonna go back to the bent F sharp note, pluck it, but don't release it. And with our pointer finger, now we're gonna grab the A note on the B string. Now go back to the F sharp, bend and release. So it sounds like this. Or you can combine both of those pedal steel looks to create an even longer extended passage. It sounds like this. Now for the final pedal steel lick, we're gonna combine the two licks we said before and add a little bit on the end so it sounds like this. This is when finger uh, placement really matters. So for this one, make sure you're bending with your ring finger and your middle finger. And then when you come up to this one, make sure you're bending with your middle finger. And then for the end, I like to add the little Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings kind of uh, motif. Uh, e, hammer onto F sharp, slide to G sharp, pick, uh, I'm sorry, pluck the B, go back to the G sharp, slide back to the F sharp, end on the E. Fast style chicken picking was always way too complex for me to learn when I first started out playing. But learning a few simple licks like this and adding it into my own playing helped me coax more country twang out of my own guitar. 
This month, we looked at a lot of different aspects of Brad Paisley's playing, but I have a question for y'all. Who's your favorite guitar player? And who would you like to see me do a deep dive on next? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new today, hit the like button, as that helps me know which videos y'all enjoy, and I can create more country guitar videos. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, so that you never miss out on another country guitar lesson like this one. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, let the music play.